I'm thinking I put artillery mid just so I can uh, play for every single lane. Since blue has all these board wipes, so my chance of winning against blue here must be to uh, spread out and go for every lane. It just has to be. Can blood rage his Skywrath? It still dies to my Bloodseeker. Um, so otherwise he just dimensional portals, right? Because it's not enough to kill my Bloodseeker and he can't do anything now. And my Bloodseeker will heal to full, so... Offer your throat and save us all some time. And I heal up. <laughs> I think. And I can rest in lane 1 now. Okay. At least Rix comes back immediately and my zombie lives. So I still do some damage. I don't think he can do anything to me that I'm afraid of, so I'll just uh, let him die. Oh well, he could do that, I guess. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Of course. From that. I think I do it. I also saved the zombie. Just because I have no hero there now. Oh, please don't tell me he has two of those. <laughs> uh, well, now he does. Rip. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this is so hard, man. Why did you give me uh, this challenge double box, please? I'm adamant on doing this in the uh, <laughs> prize mode. This is actually great, because Oak Lodi might be able to finish the tower here next round, along with my uh, unsupervised artillery, if I can just uh, kill the last, the tower in the last lane. Lord. I do have it. I have a tiny chance here if he uh, doesn't take the initiative and he doesn't kill me. A tiny one, but oh, this is getting close. How many was that? Thirty-eight? No, 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 no. It's Forty. Uh, Forty-four. Oh, but he's out of mana. He's out of mana now. Okay, I have to kill the tower now then. Can I do that? I can silence him, but then I cannot... Oh, I can blow Riggs up. Okay, okay, so I need to... Oglody and Blood Rage. I Blood Rage Zeus. Yes. I Blood Rage Zeus. I sadly have to use the Oglody here, so I won't have it in the next lane. And then I blow him up, that's 13. That's 15, if I... Uh, okay, I Oglody first, over here. I actually don't need to blow him up, but I mean, I might as well. Do I cloak him first? Odie oh, doesn't have cloak, that's fine. I cloak him first. Just so he has more health the for the new that's coming. Oh, we almost have it. I'm one hit point off with the tower there. Come on, come on. I just need to cast forward charge and to use my artillery and for him not to have an annihilation. If he has at any cost, then that's fine. Unless he has at any cost and eclipse or something, then that might be a problem. 
Ooh, would I meet another portal? Come on. No. <laughs> Why? Why did I cast this in the middle? I'm thinking I put artillery mid. Why? Why did I not double down and put them both here? God damn it. Why? Okay. But in the first game, with the five worst heroes in the game, we took Mono Blue we to one hit point on the second tower. I feel that's quite a success, even if we lose here. And he's gonna overkill me, I'm just gonna let him do it. There you go, knock yourself out, pal. It's not so often that you get to beat the five worst heroes in the game, I mean. You gotta really uh, enjoy that, you know. None can defeat me. Alright, I'm simply getting too old for this now. Sorry. Gotta get on to the next game and win win a game. <laughs> okay, red green ramp. Oh, you're killing me. Guess I'll just leave. And an arrow into Lycan, come on, come on, come on. Ah no, okay. Well we can't uh can't both have our cake and eat it, right? My power. I never understood that saying, by the way. Have your cake and eat it. I mean, isn't that the whole point of cake? To eat it? Hmm. I don't know. I'll use the frostbite here to be mana efficient, because next turn I can dimensional portal. Okay, so two stallers on the left again. And Rix can keep coming back there, so I think I just put CM over here and go for the Ancient. I mean, at this point, I'm okay with losing the middle. I can't fight Bristle anyway. And Rix can keep stalling the left lane, because he has rapid deployment, and if I draw any of my green cards, they are only Mr. Pavernus anyway, so I can just cast them cross lane. You'll die a and of course, Rix. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think you're gonna time of triumph here. Rick's now. best card in the game confirmed. GG. Okay, not. <laughs> well, uh, this didn't work out quite the way I planned it with, did it? Uh, yeah, you don't have anything good to say here, Rex. Just die. I won't be needed here Why does he have an emissary? I'll make this quick. Like, with the... Okay. <laughs> oh, this Riggs, man. Hmm. That's already 29 damage. You only need 11 more. I feel like there's a higher chance to stall in the middle. For some reason. I might be completely wrong. Because he can also dual down my Riggs... Oh, well, he can do that here, too. There's a lot of a lot of creeps, but I just need one of them to block Bristle. And he's putting Lycan on the left, so I would not be able to stop that lane at all. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. So I guess I lose. Since I don't have any green creeps. I only have mist. Alright. GG. Well, Challenge failed again. Hopefully next time. Yeah, I have a feeling I might end up playing this deck for a long time before this challenge is complete. Let's give him the chance to win. Yeah, smack me silly. Come on, man. Just finish me. Thanks. All right. Sorry, but you had your shot. Well. Okay, I'm gonna fight lane 1 this time. So all the other times I fought for lane 2 and 3. I feel like lane 1 is better. Yay! 
I won't be on curve for the... Oh, right, I can ball lightning. I'll do that in front of the creep then. Yeah, let's go to the creep. Then I should probably kill Lich. And just hope this is not a health item. Because we already got one. Yeah, I hope it's not a health item and that I can Let kill Lich. Please don't be health item. What can Storm even say? Fear is what makes life worth living. Oh, that's nice. What else can you say? Yeah, and in a flash you're dead. You face the storm with a pleasant surprise. That's from Dota when you give him an item. This is questionable. <laughs> you and I are gonna have some fun. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know how pleasant that really is, but uh, I'll use this to fulfill no. <laughs> no. This is questionable. This lich died. Alright, <laughs> one creep each. Means I need to get another oath or something to do this. But there's no point stalling with the either of these heroes anyway. Only <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Look at these arrows. <laughs> what is going on here? What are those arrows? I feel like this is uh, really going to tank my uh, <laughs> my MMR or rating or whatever they use in this game. <laughs> if I sound a bit tired, it's just because this will be my sixth game in a row with the worst possible deck in the game, or at least the five worst heroes according to win percentage. Since I'm doing the uh, challenge where I have to win a game with five. We portal here, and if we hit the 50%, we also zombie. Come on, come on, come on. 50, 50, 50. E yes. There's no no real animation for it other than that this thing flashes uh, quickly. So, but we get it. Yay. OD did something useful. Let's rip here, him up. Since he has throw. Okay, I could hip fire. Like I said, yeah, I think that's still the play. Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot that he got the armor. Why did I do this? This was bad. First time an allied spell, that means I can hip fire. Okay, so now I hip fire the right guy. Boom. And Blood Rage to kill Omni and then put on the cloak. Unless he. Ah! There's this tiny chance I can do this actually. Tiny one. I would prefer Mist, but then Omni doesn't die, right? Interesting device. Let's see what he does first. Because if he uses Cheating Death, then I'm not gonna Blood Rage. There is power! Okay. So if he quorums, he's gonna do something. Let's just see what it is. Okay. So which one is most important to kill? It's plus two health, so that's nine. That means Oath would kill him. And he gets 12, so Oath would also kill him, because it's Storm. So actually I can kill both of them with Oath, then he won't have a hero here next turn. Then I can't uh, do much else. I think I have to try. I think Five I have to try. Kills them even when he does that. And it means uh, my creeps kill. Ah, oh, they don't. They kill a lot of things. I'll save Storm. I, 
can't use any of Crystal Maiden's spells anyway. I never tire of Yay, we got a tower! Woohoo! <laughs> I think I've gotten a tower every game though. Okay, at least I can do another mist. He doesn't have any heroes, so I can just do whatever I want. I have to give up we'll initiative and try. I absolutely have to try. And I can hit the tower with Storm. And this guy... Oh, wow, this guy has 9 attack. Yeah, we're hitting the tower with Storm. I've always wanted one. How did you know? And we're putting this guy in. Because he survives, even though two people are hitting him. And do I heal him? I think I do. I think I heal him. Just so he can't be dueled down. I'm still the one that's not enough. He has three heroes coming in. I need to stall so hard. Please don't kill me. Okay, good. So now I can imprison on X. I take three damage. But I save four on the tower. Oh no, I can't, because then I die to retaliate. So I have to imprison myself. But then I'll put down a zombie first. Zombie shouldn't die because the axe is cleave. Uh, why is. I'm not about to help an enemy. I'm just about to tank. OD, number one tank. Come on, come on, annihilation. No. Never lucky. I have three of them, come on. This isn't over. I mean, I know I do need a <laughs> unrealistically good card draw to win a game with this deck, but come on. <laughs> you must so it's gotta happen eventually, right? If you play enough games, see if, I play if you it. throw enough shit at the wall, something's gonna stick. We call if he has one me. card, I lose. Mm. But I got quite close again. Depending on what he does here, of course. If I had more oaths, then I could do it. Oh, what? Now you can switch lanes by clicking one, two, and three. I had no idea. The all-seeing one's power flows through me. Wait, if oh, if this storm was a straight arrow, I would have won. Okay, any card you play, and you win. Soon the there we go. Okay. Let's give them a chance to hit the button. The big bad button. Okay. Usually you beat the hardest decks here. Oh, would you look at that. Blue, black. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe he can't do it. Oh, now let's do portal. I'll call for backup. There we go. GG. Zero, eight. Make it that much harder, I'm um, doing it in price draft. Oh, mono green, I might have actually have a chance against this. And, oh, I get a miss turn one. Sadly, Rix is in lane three, so it will only start popping off next turn. I could have gone over here and started hitting the tower, but, I mean, I do have to stall a little bit. And I might just put the mist into lane one. Oh, he's misting as well. Interesting. Drow. He's gonna put Drow in lane three or the middle. I'm thinking I just missed the middle. Because it's harder to push punch through tree. But then again, it's probably kind of the same. I'll uh, Storm doesn't kill the creep. I'll do it in the middle lane. Because Storm doesn't kill the melee creep. 
Okay, I already have an, an Annihilation, so I think I will just Ball Lightning uh, Bloodseeker here over next to... Which, which way do we go? We go next to Draw. Because then if I curve an arrow, this would be really nice. I don't, that's okay. And then we buff up Storm by playing two spells enough that uh, he can kill Lycan in one hit. There's the Savage Wolf, yeah, that's uh, okay though. I should be able to annihilate the lane before it dies. Maybe. Um, yeah, so I think I just... He can't heal Lycan, so I just Blood Rage the creep. Because then I'm killing both the zeros. And my black ones are not dying. And he already used two Ripple Decoys, so he probably doesn't have a third one here. Let's uh, do some emotes with these uh, shitty heroes. <laughs> that you never ever get to hear otherwise. Okay, he tanks me with a wolf. That's perfect. Gotta get max emote value out of these, because I feel like I'm never gonna play them again. I think I would like a TP. Oh, but I can blow stuff up with rigs. Hmm, I think I'll TP later. I gotta blow stuff up. Okay, so I can just put rigs left, and then I can blow up like everything except for tree. Now let's just blow him up. Oh no, now the wolf has armor, so now I can't remove the wolf like ever. And storm dies, but it's just uh, how it works. I don't need to put the cloaks on preemptively, because green doesn't have any direct damage. Oh, please, please let this be the game. Okay, so he's gonna shoot my storm. That's fine. Just gives him 6 tower damage, but he's not gonna win this lane. Okay, so I can frostbite him to kill him this round. <coughs> and also save Crystal Maiden some damage, I think I'll do that. Ah, right. There it is. He's not winning this. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, so with that lagging deploy, maybe I should have annihilated the first lane. But, we'll see. Silence unit. No, silence isn't perch, sadly. Let's just blow them up. They freeze up 8 tower damage. Uh, I have a worse feeling about this than when we started. A way worse feeling, yeah. Of course. And next turn he can just use that shield again. But at least by putting the zombie here, I make sure that what I deploy next turn is not blocked. That's okay. He still can't do any direct damage. And I have initiative for the last lane now. Minus 15. It would be best to save the Annihilation one turn. If at all possible. And I think it's very possible, so I just pass. Okay, so we travel a cloak. So like I'm losing the first lane for sure. I need a uh, small miracle to pull this off. <laughs> I 
maybe more than a small miracle. Okay, I absolutely have to take the tower this turn at least, so let's put Rex here. I cannot believe I was one hit point from winning in the first game I played with this. That would have been so sick. Three astral imprisonments, come on. These are not what I ordered. At least I have... Oh, I can actually kill Dro or Abaddon with hipfire. Please go to lane 3. Yes. Good. More, la more annihilation for me. Creep spawns could still really screw me over if both creeps go lane 3 and none of mine do. <laughs> Alright. He can't kill anything with a musket except that guy. So we just shoot. Throw. And then we have lethal. If I s okay, I'm gonna test the silence thing now, because then he doesn't get to shoot my creep. Let's see. I think he can still use the cheating death, but we'll find out. Yeah, he can still use it. Okay. I travel his cloak on Crystal Maiden, because he could shoot her. And I think I blow Riggs up, because I might have to place him in the right. <coughs> in the right lane next turn to block his creeps. And I still kill the tower. If I draw two oaths, <laughs> then maybe. Okay, let's kill everything. I have a tiny, tiny glimmer of hope. I don't need the blink, but it's damage. Do I need the heal? Not really. I might need it later. If two damage is what stops me killing this tower, I'll be very sad. Okay, this is perfect. He doesn't have any creeps going right, so I can safely ignore the right lane and just put Rick's mid. And hopefully I draw another Annihilation before next turn. Also, if he plays anything in the left lane, I can kill Abaddon by blowing up Rix. Oh, Glody, that's... Oh, oh, is this the game? Is this the game, guys? Guys? Is this the game where the worst five will actually get to win? Oh, damn it. He keeps initiative. Yeah. If only silence would work now and remove it, that would be sick. But I don't think it does. I have the annihilation, that's the important part. Let's just put down a vandal. I need to get Storm away from that creep. Yeah. Alright, so face boots on Storm. And since it's also there next turn, I swap him all the way over here. There's a lot of uh, small creeps to block with here. Healing self, Crystal Maiden? Nah. Stun the unit this round, give that unit damage immunity. I guess I should have done this on Abaddon actually. Because then he couldn't have played all these creeps. And he's damage immune already. And he hasn't shot the musket, so I think I just do it now. I know I'm slow at realizing this, but at least I stop his musket. Hmm. 
I can blow Rix up to get more damage from Crystal Maiden and get to redeploy him if I want. Yeah, let's do it. Six more tower damage, I'll take it. Um, and I can even put the Blink Dagger on CM next turn and then move whoever I need instead of uh, whoever I have to. Okay. 44. Can I do 44 next turn? Probably not. Can he do 68? Hopefully not. <laughs> They'll have to okay, one creep each, so my creep is blocking some stuff and he gets no creeps, right? That's really good. I have a blink, so I can just put everything mid. Unless OD is placed next to Crystal Maiden and he uses silence on the blue heroes. But I think that's a risk I have to take, because like this I'm gonna get uh, more people placed mid. Oh, the unsupervised artillery, that's another 4 damage. Minus 8 so far. Please, play something. Blink dagger or something, come on. Come on! Uh. <laughs> okay. When I said please play something, I didn't mean that. <laughs> but okay, I guess I have initiative now. Okay, so if I don't kill him this turn. Alright, let's imprison this guy. Boom. Okay, let's have some calculus here. Plus 14 if I blow that up. That should be an... Oh, I can't blow it up. Uh. Cheating death on the creep there, of course. Okay, so I'm definitely blinking out OD. And I am TPing out Crystal Maiden, because then I can block with OD over here and I can annihilate on the left. And then I might might get one more turn but will I need another turn let's see two more no no if two damage is what stops me killing this tower this isn't real I'll be very sad this cannot be real I'm two damage of lethal and I didn't buy the blink dagger I didn't buy I, I could have bought two more damage <laughs> I could have had lethal now. Oh, I could have had lethal right now. This cannot be. Oh, this cannot be real. This cannot be happening. I'm just doing this to buy time to process my failure. Because I could blink dagger on Storm and I could blink dagger on Rix and I would have lethal. But I don't. Oh, please don't. Please. Okay, so what I have to do is... Blink this guy to the right. Oh, I need to buy another turn somehow. Okay, I blink this guy over here. To block. And if he plays some big ass creep... I have Astral Imprisonment to stun it, and I'm gonna TP out Crystal Maiden, and then I'm gonna take like 3 tower damage, and then I'm gonna put her left so I can annihilate. And then I have to hope that he doesn't silence her. Oh my freaking god. And I guess I just heal this guy to keep him alive oh my god I could have won now this uh, this pit of pain could be over but it's not please please be over okay so I'm imprisoning that Boof. OD best hero in the game confirmed Let's, uh, let's be funny. <laughs> I 
like his lines are so good. Oh no 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 no. No 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 no. No 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 no. Yeah, surrender. Come on. <laughs> don't play creep. Please don't play rebel decoy and swap out a hero. Please. What can he do for three mana? What? It worked? OD confirmed best hero in the game. You just have to emote surrender. <laughs> it it freaking worked. Oh my god, I can't believe this just happened. Challenge successful, guys. Oh my god. So, we actually have more than 10% win rate with this deck now. That's amazing. Let me just see how much it is. Uh, we played 9 games, and we won 1, so that's 1 divided by 9, right? Then times 100. Yeah, guys, we have 11.11% .11 win with this deck. Easy! And I think that might actually be lower than... <laughs> I think that might actually be a lot lower than the uh, win percentage of the heroes. Let me see what it was. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a lot lower. <laughs> like, the lowest Outworld Devourer had 33.95% win, so I guess I just took the five lowest win percent heroes and gave them a lot lower win percent. But we actually won a freaking game with the five worst heroes in the game. And we did it by emoting Surrender with Odi. Ah, oh, that is just too good. That is just too good. Okay, let's see what he had for three mana. Oh, he only had two decoys. So he was just trying to scare me with the stars align. Ah. Uh -huh. But he had the gust, so like, if he drew the gust in the first lane and he silenced my crystal maiden, then I, I would have lost for sure. But I guess he didn't have any Ghost in hand, since he just uh, gave up. And I could have won one turn earlier if I... Uh, but I couldn't have known that. I <laughs> yeah. I'm just so happy. This It's finally over. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Well... Let me just... Uh, yeah. Well... So now that this challenge is complete, I'll be looking for uh, some new challenges to take on. So if you have any good challenge ideas or anything, just uh, put them down below in the comments of this video. And uh, yeah, just be as creative as you want. Like it can even be real life conditions where I, I have to do the challenge in one sitting or something like... If I need to win a perfect draft with some certain deck or whatever, it can be anything you want. Just uh, just get creative, guys, and I'd love to take on some more challenges. And um, lastly, thank you to Doublebox for giving me this challenge, uh, along with uh, many others. There, there are some other good challenges there I might try, but uh, thank you very much, and uh, I hope to receive some more good challenges from you guys. <laughs> hope you enjoyed the, uh, the first video in this series, and uh, yeah, take care, and see you next time. All right, all right. And before I actually end up the uh, recording a bit too early, because let me just say, while I'm 1-0 with this deck, I am not playing a single more game with this. I am done. So thank you very much. And the challenge is still complete. <laughs> Please don't make one that's harder than this, because... <laughs> oh, not one more game. Till next time.